Let's take Evil Dude. Evil Dude, how you doing? Uh oh. That's that evil up? dude. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Hey, fucker, you like the Raiders or what, bro? Okay, I honestly, I didn't know what was happening. Oh no, you're on the PPS. <laughs> like, you're I'm live. New, I'm new to the Discord thing. I'm used uh, to Skype. Thing. This is what's happening, dude. The skull is in the corner this here. Is, this is crazy. This He's is surprised. Is this Kevin? No, this is uh. What? This is evil dude. <laughs> oh, evil dude. What's yeah, up? Kevin's taking this the sack. So who's this, Kevin? Who Kevin, knows, Kevin dude. is somebody from the chat. We're gonna yeah, get him on. Yeah, no one sex. knows. Oh, uh, new new guy, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't waste it. What's up, new guy? What's up? It's me. Cool, I'm man. Evil, dude. Cool. Uh, How's it going, Garrett? How's it going? You know, I'm feeling like I, I I let some of the streamers down who were counting on a no death run. I don't know where they were. Uh, I don't know how they got that idea in their heads. I don't think anybody had. That's just my mental, you know. See, no death run at, in mind. At the end of game days, I'm starting to think, oh my god, people are upset. I didn't get time to spend with them. And then at the end of uh, the stream here, I'm thinking, oh my god, people wanted a no death run, and now I'm letting them down. Uh, but you're you're telling me that's not the case, Brian? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I'm, Eric. Eric believes... I'm just gonna ask a question for the blind listeners, such as myself. Mm, uh, sure. What killed you? What killed me? Oh, it was a, um, just a regular old walker, man. A uh, fucking... What, you didn't get killed by the spider? No, it was no. a T-virus, a T-virus attacking zombie. Yep. Uh, formerly of some type of STARS cleanup or, or UC Umbrella cleanup squad, I think. Mm hmm Couldn't be yeah. sure. Can't, can't tell. Too soon to tell. Ow. You okay, Brian? Yeah, Too I'm fine. Just hit my knee. <laughs> Ryan's throwing. Yeah, I've never tantrums. played Resident Evil Zero myself. I played every other game in the series except for that one. Ooh. Gotcha. Are you really blind, or do you just yeah. listen uh, to the no, show? No, no, no. I, I'm actually I, I listen to it, but I play games as I listen to it. So it's uh, like I'm not looking at the screen. I hear you. Most Got of the time, I use like audio only Twitch. I love. I was so just I can, gonna like, plug... listen to what's going on. Thank you. I was just gonna mention that. I love that the Twitch app has that feature yeah. where you can just choose audio only, put it in your pocket, and. Yeah. It's like a podcast. Especially easy when you have the Discord dueling with that, so you can oh. uh, get into the waiting room. Yeah. The apps on listening, these phones Listening working. to those people, maybe on a laptop. Sometimes I like to close the laptop lid while it's plugged in. Audio still plays. Oh, good idea. Mutes your audio, though. Technology coming together, yeah, man. It's a beautiful thing. There's a technology. Sometimes I'll set up a sound system in the other room. Hell yeah. Be, like, hear in. you from far away. Like, it's somebody else in the room talking when playing video games. Dog, you're making me hard with room. all this fucking, uh... Audio like, shit. Tech, this, this tech yeah. talk, it's getting me. It's I good. set up sound bars in the, in the bedroom sometimes. Damn, you, know, like, you, you got, got some... Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. you got reference level subwoofer sound? Ooh. You got... What do you got? That's good. I got a I got an LG soundbar in the bedroom. Got a subwoofer there. Is there anyone jacking off to this right now? Seven point one. You got seven point one in the living room. Seven point one. Seven point one in the living room. Seven point one, Brian. Ooh, I don't do the seven point one yet. Now, I was gonna say, and then in the side room, I got like a little I got like a little TV set up uh, near my kitchen, like office space. It yeah. kind of like shares the same room. And there, I got like all the old consoles, and I got two mm. power speakers hooked up to the. Uh, you're Today. talking classic All consoles in surround stereo. See, nice. Here's the thing: I got this. I got this really cheap uh, uh, audio video receiver, and what's cool about it is everything upscales to HDMI on it. Yeah. So I got everything plugged in and it's hooked up to a Vizio, like a Dog. 40 inch uh, Vizio Whoa. that's hooked up Dog. to the wall. This is insanity. Dude, everything. I got like a, like, it's, you just got to have all the things, all your bases covered. You got to have it all covered. Everything in the kitchen sink. And you remember back in the high school, we used to hang out in the school here, go like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing. Don't walk away thank from Thank you me for having me. Talking to you. Yes, and I love to hear more from you. First time caller, long time listener, I soon to suspect. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been listening to, uh, <laughs> listening to slash watching PPS since about 2014, I'd say. Okay. Oh, nice. oh classic. Classic. Well, thanks, dude. Classic. Uh, I really do. Uh, You're welcome. I dig it. Just, I was going to ask one last thing. Yeah. Uh, what is your stream plans with uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake coming out? Oh. Are you going to go like hardcore all in like day one? Or are you going to take know, it slow? I'll probably... It seems that when a really popular game comes out and everyone's streaming it, that's like the last thing I want to stream. 
But with Resident Evil 2, I will be playing it. So if it's relevant to, like, yeah, let's stream it, I'll stream it. Like, Red Dead came out, and I'm, yeah. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. if it wasn't Halloween, we'd be streaming that. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I, I think I'll be playing Resident Evil 2, and I'll be wanting to keep playing. So I, I think we'll definitely be streaming it, like, week it's released. See, I don't see why yeah, not. that's one I'm really interested in, because I'm really excited about the game myself. But I, I heard there's a lot of different, like, little details to the gameplay now. So, like, watching somebody else go through it might be a little more interesting if I go through it myself, like, the first time. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I would I would always yeah. recommend just playing a game once by yourself the first time and then deciding to stream it later. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what that's, I do... That's what we'll probably do. What I do, honestly, uh, yeah, with a lot of, especially new games, I'll play through a little and then I'll back it up and start the PPS from a previous save. Yeah. So, so I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Even with this game, I played for about a half hour at home before I came here to mm -hmm. re-familiarize myself with the controls. Didn't help much. Yeah. But uh, still, it, it, it does something. Pervert. Hey, come on. <gasps> yeah. Uh, but... It also, uh, you know, I thought was going to give me some insight on how to uh, <laughs> beat these puzzles, but now I'm, I'm finding myself yeah. a little flummoxed. I was going to ask, besides, like, Resident Evil 2, what else are you excited for in the upcoming year of 2019? God, you know, I'm getting... I, I don't want to read into all the bad news, but uh, I'm hearing bad things about the PlayStation Classic that I was pretty excited for before. Oh really? Yeah, I just hear like bad news. Just people What's aren't happy news? with the games, and it's pretty limited. Look, I can moonwalk. Oh nice. Um, yeah, that was never something. I was gonna say the game get. selection. The game selection to me is fine. I mean, for yeah, what it is, I don't know. I wasn't I, expecting all the heavy hitters, but yeah, you like, got like at least five good games. There. Anything can be better. Like the Super Nintendo Classic could have been better if it had the games that I like over the games that like Derek and Rocco liked more. Yeah. you know what I mean. See, well, I, that's the thing. It's never going to be loaded with the games true. that you want because you the games you played are are more. Ow! Oh. I did the same thing you did. <laughs> but uh the, yeah but they're gonna the, be more obscure the uh, i was play? gonna say i'm more interested in the modding capabilities because i want to yes. see that thing because a lot of ps a lot of uh emulators that can run like the ps1 emulators are capable of running like almost psp emulators at that point oh so i could see some big screen capabilities with the psp games at that point yeah with the modding that's yeah. what i'm looking forward to uh, with all yeah. of those and I, and I still intend to get it like uh you got two big USB uh, ports on the front, so you can pretty oh, yeah. much plug anything into it. And I want to see what kind of controllers are available. I would actually love to see if you could plug a PS4 controller into it and play the games that are on there with it. Okay. Probably. Well, not out the bat, the USB stuff seems all locked down, but it's only a matter of time. Oh, yeah. Somebody's you know, gonna like, it. someone will make a little dongle that uh, lets you put any other fight stick in it, or mm -hmm. someone will make... Uh, patch that lets you run those old PlayStation. Even though, why do you want that old PlayStation controller on like your PC? I don't know, but like th there will yeah. definitely be that modding community. You're right. I think I'm more excited for the aftermarket of the PlayStation Classic. Exactly. But what I was, we got off on a total tangent. I think what I was trying to <laughs> say was, yeah, I'm not that excited for the PlayStation Classic. I definitely don't want to. You know, like, cancel my pre-order or start bagging on it just because of some of the bad press it's been getting lately. But as far as, like, the next thing I, was gonna I know... Say, I going Yeah? I find it very exciting if you are either really big into, like, games like Final Fantasy VII, Tekken Three, or Metal Gear Solid. Because now you have, like, a dedicated machine that plays that version yeah, perfectly. The perfect almost. version. Well, almost. Yeah, I guess, like, people are a little upset. No scan line, filter. It's just 720. Yeah. It's locked down to widescreen. Um, no I was expecting the off. emulation quality of the PS3 at the at the least. Yeah. PSP, PS3, but like the fact that it's locked down 720, that's fine to me. Yeah. I mean, the games are what I'm there for. Yeah, it's a hundred dollar, you know, little mini player. Like these these things are not supposed to be, you know. The, the way I see it is X. like maybe you're maybe you're traveling and you go to a hotel and you don't have anything to do that night. There's nothing nearby. And you just gotta stay in the hotel all night. You just got that. Keep it in your suitcase, and then it's like, okay, well, why don't I play Metal Gear tonight? Yeah. Maybe I'll just play through it again. Oh, maybe uh, maybe a couple rounds of Tekken Three. That's that's kind of what you're that's what you're here for. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a really cool device, and uh, and I think it's it's just a matter of time before it gets cracked and, and people open it up. But uh, Evil Dude, any parting words for yeah, us? Yeah, parting words. 
Uh, hey. Good luck with the game. Uh, always enjoy the. Kind of Matrix Sim. Kind of, kind of got him. That I, was now, that was nice, but yeah, you were you were saying something about. Uh, well, I didn't get a chance to really talk about the game that I'm actually excited for. Right. Because uh, I was trying to just talk about <laughs> real quick. I wanted to touch on the PlayStation Classic and move on, but um, I think I mean we talked about Resident Evil 2, and that's that is like the next thing. Fuck, I wasted that. That is the next thing that I have like really. I think pre-ordered yeah uh, aside from the PlayStation classic is is Resident Evil 2 I, I'm just super excited for, for me that. for me that's the only other game I'm really looking forward to I, I don't want to say in the next year because I don't know what else is coming out next year but just in my own awareness that's the next like okay cool game I'm excited to really sink my teeth into obviously we've all been playing Red Dead yeah I feel like there there's going to be more to be said about that game as time goes on and things open up and online gets opened up but what i really wanted to talk about 